live. We are live. Dope. Hey, everybody. Hey, Risha. Good to see you. I'm waiting for some guys to come on in. You guys can invite your followers. That'd be great. That'd be great. Thank you very much, Dope, for inviting. Hey, Risha, how you doing? How are you today? Hey, cat. Hey, D Nails. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you for inviting your followers. Uh, for those of you who are on, um, if you don't mind inviting your followers, that'll be um, greatly appreciated. Noiser 777. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you caught me too. Glad you caught me too. for some more people to come in. We can kind of invite, invite some people out and uh, wait for some more people to come in for a little bit as, as, as we customarily do. As we customarily do, we're going to wait for people to come in. So... guys for coming through for uh, worship conversations. Hey Janet, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. As we customarily do, we're just going to wait a few minutes for people to get in. If we can share with our followers and uh, share uh, on um, on Twitter and Facebook and um, and right here, we, we can all share. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, post something on Facebook. Hey Cheryl, thank you for joining. If everybody doesn't mind inviting their followers, that'd be greatly appreciated. Hey Felicia. Hey Felicia, how are you? Thank you, thank you for joining. If we can all invite our followers, that'd be great. You know, thank you, thank you guys. Blessings to you too, Cheryl. Blessings to you too. Blessings to you too. Support. How's everything at the Apollo? How's World's AIDS Day going, Lloyd, over at the Apollo? Reaches back. Yeah, that's that's Teddy. That's Teddy playing in the background. I wish that was me, but it's not. <laughs> that that's uh that's Teddy playing in the background who I love to, to sit and listen to worship and play so um, I like to come here but that's nice you guys got you're doing it tomorrow right Lloyd you guys doing it again tomorrow World AIDS Day um um let's see 534 and about 535 we, we're gonna get started you know again if everybody can invite their hey Kingdom Crunk hey thank you for joining Kingdom Crunk. Let's all pray for her. Let's pray for her as 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 she begins, as she as she uh, starts her her radio station. She's starting a radio station, and so let's 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 make sure we pray for her. We we'll make sure we pray for her. She's starting. Hey hey, Pastor McNulty. Hey, thank you for joining, sir. Thank you for joining. Listen, if everyone don't mind, if you can you can invite your followers and. And stuff like that. That'd be greatly appreciated on Facebook and, and Twitter. Uh, wherever wherever they are, um, we're, we're gonna. We're, hey, the Bishop. Thank you for joining. Uh, my name is Seth, and, and you're, you 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 joined in the worship conversation. Hey, Chrissy. Um, hey, hey, Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Uh, 
So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for, for joining. Thank you guys for joining. Yeah, let's pray for Kingdom Crunk. She's uh, starting a radio station. Pastor Gould, thank you. Thank you very much. Audrey, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. You guys go ahead um, uh, and I'm, I'm going to pray. Actually, I'm going to do some open items, um, you, you guys, yeah, as, I, as I normally do. Let's all, um, if you want to give more than, if you want to give continuous hearts, uh, once you get the 500, if you want to give more hearts, if you want them to count, then you have to come out of, you have to go out of the scope. You got to go out of the scope and then you got to come back in. You got to come back in because they only count 500 hearts every time you're in the scope. So if you, you again, you're never obligated to give hearts. Uh, but I'm grateful that that you do when you do, and so um, uh, that that's one thing you know we get and I and I'll and I'll talk about and I'll push everybody um, that I'll do my custom you know what I customarily do is push everybody um, uh, for uh, other people's scopes that I think the Lord is really speaking. Uh, let's pray. Let's pray. We're gonna get right into it. Father, we thank you uh, for this time uh, to be able to sit with you and, and and be on Periscope and use this medium. Um, for, for the advancement of your kingdom. Um, we, we thank you that, that you reside with us, that you live in us. Um, and and, and uh, we ask that you continue, continue to live with us, continue to be with us, continue to walk with us, continue to carry us, Lord God. Continue to speak to our hearts, Lord God. Um, may, we, may we hear you fresh and new every day, Lord God, uh, as, as for, for everything that you have for our lives. And we thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hey, Jade. Hey, man. Hey, praying for you, T Baby. Hey, thank you for joining. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna sing a song, and then I'll just have some brief words, and we're gonna get right into it. All right. Thanks for everybody joining. Hide me now under. Storms, 
Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still, know you are God. And I will be still, and know you are God. I will be still, and know you are God. It's another song that says, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that worship the Lord tonight. We worship the Lord tonight because he's worthy to be praised. We worship the Lord because he's worthy to be praised. Wow, and I can just kind of just sit here um, considering the circumstances. I worship the Lord and the beauty of his holiness. You hold my every moment. Hallelujah. You calm my raging seas. You walk with me through fire and heal all my disease. Oh, I trust.
Hallelujah, God. We worship you, Lord Jesus. You're all I need, God. You're all we need. Thank you for this moment of worship, Lord God. We glorify your name, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we glory. Fire the name of the Lord. We glorify the name of the Lord. We glorify the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you can invite your followers, if you're if you're just joining us, um, and if you haven't yet, if you can invite your followers, Father, we worship you. Hallelujah. For nothing is impossible with the Lord. Hallelujah. Nothing is impossible. Oh Jesus, we worship you, Lord God. We take the time out, Lord Jesus, to just lift our voices and our hands, Lord God, but more so we lift our hearts to you, Lord God. We want you to see our hands and we want you to hear our voices, Lord God, but we want you to capture our heart. Capture our hearts, cry tonight. Capture our heart, Lord God. Our innermost thoughts, Lord God, make them yours, Lord God. May we think like you and walk like you and talk like you. Lord God, may we give you a worship, Lord God. May we seek your heart and not your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, if you guys, if you haven't already, just invite your followers. If you can, if you can. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. And we're going to try to um, just kind of just go, go from here. Uh, no one like the Lord. No one like the Lord. And, and anybody who knows me knows that I can... I can just sit right here. I can just sit right here. I can just sit right here all night. And I'm, I'm grateful for the presence of God, for the presence of God. I'm grateful for the presence of God. Um, and tonight, thank you guys for coming to Worship Conversations. If you're just joining us, uh, I'm Seth Nixon. This is Tuesday. It's 5.30. It's 5.47 now. We have a good long time of worship, um, which I do not make any apologies for. I don't uh, make any apologies for it. Uh, stepping in and just really letting worship override what I have to say. Um, any Anytime we can be in the presence of God, um, what what we have to say um, as, as, as it pertains to um, as it pertains to teaching anything, I, I believe um, um, worship uh, supersedes everything that we would ever have to say about God um, to, to each other. To each other. Hey KK Boogie, thank you for um, for joining yeah so i believe that anything that i have to say from a teaching perspective to you um while it may be of some value to you um if if we can have a moment where you can kind of sit and just worship the lord it, it is it is more valuable um than anything that i can that i can say uh horizontally to you um but what we can do vertically and talking to the lord he is he is he is awesome and, and so but i do thank god for this for this opportunity for this moment um, to share with you guys, and I'm just going to get right into it. I don't really have a recap because my recap is kind of, excuse me, this week. And excuse me again. Um, and and many of you, if if you don't know, many of you know, you guys know I'm going to read from uh, my notes because that's the best way for me to stay on track. Uh, but many of you, if, if if some of you may not know, but many of you know that I lost my grandson on November 18th. Uh, my grandson Jacob. Um, uh, I lost my grandson last week, uh, two weeks ago, uh, almost on November 18th, and um, and I've been feeling you guys' prayers, and I do thank you guys uh, for your prayers. I appreciate them. Um, and we buried him this past Wednesday. We buried him this past Wednesday, and um, and 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 it can, and, and as you can imagine, um, it was everything that you you probably think it was. It was heart wrenching. It was tough. It was rough. It was hard. Um, um, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was like a, it was like a, like a, like a punch to the gut that I've never felt before. It's a, it, it's an unexplainable level of grief, um, 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 that, that, that my family and I, my son and I, uh, we were experiencing. And so, um, it's been a tough week. Yes. Yes. And I've been receiving your prayers and feeling your prayers. Hey, hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, auntie. Um, and, uh, and as many of you know, people, pe people of, uh, worship conversations, really, I'm just kind of going to touch on some things and I'm not going to be long and I want to take questions from you guys because I haven't taken questions in a while. Um, and, and as many of you know, 
um, from experience, these tragic moments um, can produce a myriad of emotions, just a bunch of different emotions. And, and the primary question that we always come up with in these, mo in, in, in these moments, um, and, and if, you've been, if you've lost anyone close to you, I'm sure you, 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 you can, you, you, the question that you've said is, Lord, how am I going to get through this? God, how am I going to get through this? You know, that, that's always the question. Saved, unsaved, whether you're following Jesus or not. The, the, the question that people always seem to ask themselves is this. God, how am I going to get through this? And so, and that's really, the really, um, like I said, I'm not going to be long. Um, this, is, this is meant to be an encouraging scope. I just want to encourage you guys, um, even in my moment. I just want to encourage you guys. And, and um, so the focus for tonight's worship conversation is I want you to worship your way through it. I want you to worship your way through it. And, and again, I'm not going to be long. I just got a couple of things I want to touch on. And, and I want you guys to, um, and, you know, if you guys have questions, um, um, that I, I want you to be able to ask them. Limited edition, thank you for joining Worship Conversations today. Um, and, and, and let's get back to that question, that question that says, uh, God, how am I going to get through it? It, it is at this moment uh, for some, it's a moment of extreme grief, right? It's a moment of great despair. It's a, mom it's a, moment, it's a moment where you're tempted to give up. Um, and it's in this moment where you must make a decision to draw close to God and worship your way through it. Because any other option, any other option, thank you for joining, uh, Yoshi, for you. Thank you for joining Worship Conversations. Because any other option can lead you down a very, very dark path. I'm going to share a story with you guys that I, that I haven't shared with many people. Um, uh, my, my brother, a lot of people know my brother was murdered back in 96. Uh, my brother Thass was murdered in 96. And listen, I, I was leading worship um, in, in 96, okay? So I'm going to share this story for the first time publicly um, that I ever shared. And I'm, and I'm going to do the quick version. And so thank you for joining, Charnel. Um, yeah, we got you got to draw a night of God. You got to worship your way through it. And so um, back in 96, my brother was murdered, right? He was, he was murdered um, in 96. And I remember, and I, yes, and I'm a worship leader, right? I said, I've been worship, leading worship for 25 years. So 96 ain't been 25 years. It's been 19. And so, um, um, when my brother, my brother had died. And so what I found myself one night in an apartment with a bunch of people smoking weed with a bunch of people. So here I am, I'm smoking weed with a bunch of people, right? That's right auntie. you. Remember, um, uh, my brother had had gotten he, he had gotten murdered on December twenty eighth. We had the funeral and everything was New Year's Eve. We're absolutely, we either bring you closer to him or farther away. And we're going to touch on that very thing, Felicia, on that very thing. Um, and so my, I found myself in an apartment um, smoking weed with my cousins, and my brother was there. And we're and everybody's smoking. Everybody's grieving, right? Um, and then let me fast forward to to um, so you can get the seating arrangement. I was sitting on a couch. Three people. So there was somebody to my left and there was somebody to my right. There was a love seat to the right. Two people sitting on there. There were people standing behind me. My brother was sitting at the kitchen table, which was probably 25 feet away from me. Hey, Lady McNulty, thank you for joining. 25 feet away from me. And then I had gotten to the point where I had where I had smoked, right? And then I couldn't feel my body. I couldn't feel my body. This is the first time I'm ever sharing this publicly. There's some people who know this story. Um, but um, this is the first time I'm sharing it publicly, right? And so... What happen, What happens is. Um, what happens is I can't. I can no longer feel my body, um, and then I hear, I hear, get up and get out, or you're gonna die here tonight. This is what I literally hear. I see. I hear, get out, get up, and get out, or you're gonna die here tonight. And so I couldn't move my body. Um, and 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 I'm gonna give you the quick version. The, 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 the longer version is a lot more in depth, but I wanna wanna get through this. Um, so I hear, um, I hear that a few times. And, and, um, and, and, and I can't, and I, and I can't talk, so I can't talk and I can't move my body or anything. And, I, and I'm hearing, get up or, or get up or you're going to die tonight. And I said, and, and then I remember not talking, but hearing myself say, but I can't move. And then I heard, that's too bad. You got to get up and you got to get out or you're going to die here tonight or you're going to die here tonight. And so I realized what was happening was, um, God, God, the father was talking to me. And I understood that God the Father was talking to me. And um, as I'm, as I'm, as I'm hey, well, listen, I've already been through this, so you should be able to do this. Absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. We're all different people, but you know, we have got to encourage each other. We have got to encourage each other. We've got to encourage each other. And we've got to listen. We've got to pull each other out. And we've got to pull each other up. Listen. And if that person can't dance, guess what? You go and you grab that person. And you go grab that person. And you dance with that person. And even if they ain't moving, you grab them and you hold them and you dance with them. Amen. You dance with them. And if that and, and if you don't and if you're not in the church that dances, guess what? You go what you go over to that person. One thing Zarephath Christian Church does, right? And I led worship there this weekend. Um, one thing they do, Pastor Rob says, if there's anybody with a prayer need, he says, you stand. You, you stand. Amen. Thank you, Pastor uh, McNulty. Um, it, it, Pastor, Pastor Rob says, if anybody with a prayer need, he says, you, ju you just stand if you want to stand. If you're comfortable standing, you stand. And so, and, and everybody stands, right? And he says, um, and, and if you're standing near that person, just go over there and, and stand with them. We got to stand with each other. Listen, let me tell you something. You guys stood with me. You guys stood with me. The last week and a half, you stood with me. You stood with me. You prayed when I couldn't pray. You prayed when I didn't feel like I could pray, right? You you did that. You did that. And I felt that. You know, Danny, Danny came, um, Pastor Danielle, she she came to the funeral. And, 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 and that's my sister. And we've been in covenant for 20 plus years. And so just seeing her, just seeing her did something for me. You got to understand, we have got to, we, we have got to bear one another burden, bear one another's burdens, right? We've got to bear one another's burdens and we have got to worship with each other. We've got to worship. And if somebody's not physically able to worship, we got to stand in proxy with for that person. And we've got to worship. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys tonight. That's, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. Um, I don't want to become a rambler. You know, a a absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And so I, I, will, I will take any question that anybody has. Um, um, that, that if you have, you know, you, you got a praise report, you got a question, whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is, you, you, you guys, if you got a question, you let me know. You let me know and I'll try to answer it, you know. I'll try to answer it, um, but I just wanted to encourage you guys tonight. You know what? Um, and 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 listen, we went to we went to um, uh, last last Tuesday. Um, I had to go and with my sister Liz Black, and she had an event. She had an event um, that I committed to, to 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 ministering at. And listen, I and I and I had to, and there were people there when I, and when I looked right, I saw people. It was a it was a coat giveaway, and they were giving away turkeys and coats for Thanksgiving and stuff like that. And the power of God fell so mightily in that place. The power of God fell so mightily in that place. It was an awesome move of God. It was an awesome move of God because you know what? I saw people who needed who 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 needed the Lord. Just like I needed the Lord in that moment. I didn't talk about my grief where I was, but I did what I did see was people who were in need. People who were in need. There were people who were in need, right? And so I ministered and 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 the power of God fell and, and all for the glory of God. And it was an amazing time. It was an amazing time. And I was able to be blessed by other people being blessed. And so listen, that, that's all I have, guys. Um I I don't have anything else to say. I just wanted to encourage you guys tonight, and I wanted that this scope is worship, worship through it. I think that's what I said it was. I don't even remember what I put the title as, uh, worship your way through it or worship through it. Um, whatever the title is, that's what the title is. Um, and if anybody has any questions, um, 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 Dobie is on. Uh, you be encouraged too, sis. You be encouraged too. Uh, thank you, Janet. If, if if anybody has a prayer request, please put it up. Pastor McNulty, if you're still on, are you doing your sweet hour of prayer regularly? Because what I would like to do is have people who are on the prayer scope at noon, right? If you are, um, yeah, Mary chose a good thing. Are you doing your sweet hour of prayer regularly? Or or it, how how is that going to work? Because what I want to do is I want to push people. That's what I'm going to do right now, as a matter of fact. Um, Lighthouse FWC, everybody, that's Pastor Dennis McNulty. He does morning meditations on Mondays and Fridays. And he also does a sweet hour of prayer where he takes people's prayer requests. And I really I'm really enjoying this whole Periscope thing because he doesn't he doesn't do. Um, she's still in ICU. Dope. What's your sister's name, Felicia? Um, I don't. And you may have given Down Nichols. I call him Dobie, so he's my godfather. So when y'all hear me say Dobie, I'm talking about Down Nichols. Uh, we are we are praying for Chicago, absolutely. Well, Louise. And so Dobie, if you if you are, I don't I don't have a pen. I do have a pen, so I'm gonna start writing this stuff down. Pastor McNulty, if you are on, um, if somebody can 
find out if he does his sweet hour of prayer um, uh, regularly. Um, I want to start pointing people to that Monday night at 6.30 p.m. Okay, folks, so Monday night, 6.30 p.m., we need to tune in at 6.30 p.m. to the sweet hour of prayer. Now, listen, 12 noon, you got prayer scope. 6.30 p.m., you got sweet hour of prayer. We can't, we can't have Felicia's sister, Louise, Louise, and I see you, okay? And, and Louise, so, so I'm writing this stuff down. We're praying for Chicago, um, and we're going to write this thing down because I, listen, I believe, listen, this Periscope thing, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys a praise report. Somebody reached out to me, um, and the guy said, I'm going to get in a nutshell. He said, listen. I don't know. I've only heard you sing on Periscope. I don't have any of your music. Um, and I've only watched you on Periscope. And he said, um, you've been blessing me on Periscope with worship conversations. And he said, I am. Um, he said, I just feel he said, I feel in my spirit that I need to use my platform. I need um, to use my platform. So 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 because the world needs to hear you. The, 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 the world the world needs to hear you. And so I believe Periscope is, and I'm not saying that because I need to be heard, because I don't need to be heard. God needs to be heard. But I believe Periscope, the way things are linking up with, with in the way it's, I, I believe Periscope is going to be a major unifier of the body of Christ. Um, so once we get, once, and once we get a schedule where everybody's scoping and everybody's saying something that the Lord is saying, I think, I think it puts us in a great position as the body of Christ. Um, a, a, a praise report, big juicy juice, big juice. Um, um, he was on Sunday, right? And I don't know if anybody was on earlier, um, but, but, but big juice, yes, the, well, go on holler, Risha, go on holler. Um, big juice, we were, we were praying and we were praying that we would pray the prayer of salvation. Big, let me tell you how big juice, let me tell you how big juice came on the Periscope. He came on Periscope, right? On a, on a worship conversation. And big juice says, he says, he says, what's up? And, and he used the N word, right? And I said, big juice, you know, we don't do that. Blah, blah, blah. I went through that. And big juice, he started, he said, oh, you know, my fault. And I said, hey, no need to apologize. Hope you stick around for worship conversations. Right. And so he stuck around. He stuck around and he started talking about needing the Lord and he kept on coming back and he kept on. And then he was on Sunday and we were praying that he would find a church and he's in Canton, Ohio. He said, I need the Lord. And the praise report, he found a church, Canton Baptist Church. He said he found a church and he talked to the pastor about his drinking problem. Right. And the pastor said he is going to help him with that drinking problem. This is through Periscope. I don't know him. I've never met him. Never spoken to him. But I believe what I believe is, is we are all connecting with each other. Pastor McNulty, right? Pastor McNulty, right? And, and, and Daryl Nichols 8, he joined the church. He joined the church, Pastor. Yes, he did. He joined the church. Canton Baptist Church. He joined the church. He said, I got great news. That's what he said to me today, I think it was. Today. I think he said today or it was yesterday. But I think it was today. He said, Canton Baptist Church. He told he told the pastor about his drinking problem, and he said the pastor said he's going to help him through it. And so we're going to keep praying for Big Juice. I don't even know his name, and I don't even care. But we're going to call him Big Juice because that's what his name is on Periscope. But I believe what God is doing is he is pointing all of us to each other, and he's going to unify the body. He's going to unify the body. And and what he's going to do, he's going to he's going to we're going to we're going to come we're going to get on one accord with one heart with one voice and one focus. Um, and, and that's to worship one God, that's to worship one God. And so do we have any more prayer requests? Any more prayer requests? We got Felicia's sister, Louise. She's still in ICU. We're praying for Chicago. If anybody, um, 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 Dove, if you can put your email address, like, uh, because Pastor McNulty is lighthousefwc at optonline.net. If you want to, if you, if you want to, you can email all of us. Uh, that, that's, that's Pastor McNulty, LighthouseFWC at OptOnline.net. I'm Seth Nix Music at gmail.com. I'm at, I'm Seth Nix Music at G, poor Zinganator. Hey, hey, what's up, man? Amazing. Yeah, hey, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank, I think that's John. Thank you. Um, thank you. It was an awesome time in worship this weekend. You got a, you got a new email address. Put your email address up there. Um, because it, it, you know, I want people to have, um, email addresses that they can email their prayer requests if they don't want to share them here on Periscope. Um, okay. Um, you don't have to share it on Periscope, but I'm, I'm Seth Nick's music at gmail.com. Right. And, and Pastor McNulty is, is a uh, lighthouse FWC, uh, at optonline.net. You can catch him 
uh, Monday nights at 630 with the sweet hour of prayer. Right. And you can catch him Monday mornings and Friday mornings with the morning meditation. You can catch Daryl Nichols eight. Right. Who's, who's going to be putting up his email address soon with um, with prayer scope, with the 12 noon prayer scope. It is an awesome time, especially if you've had a rough day at work. Um, it is an awesome time to get, and even if you've had a great day at work, eat your lunch, put your earbuds in and put the prayer scope in and just listen, listen to the prayers of people. Prayer scope, if that, okay, I'm assuming that's an E. So that should be prayer scope, S-C-O-P-E, everybody, I think. Prayer scope mail at gmail.com. Prayer scope, I think he put an R by mistake. Um, let me know if, if that's the, if that's the case though, if it's prayer scope with an E and not an R. Um. Oh, wow. We, we got a couple of them. Prayers old mail at gmail.com. Amen. So, uh, so, so you got email addresses. Um, and so, uh, uh Daryl, uh, Dove does, uh, prayer scope 12 noon, Monday through Friday. Right. And then you've got Tim is, I don't know if Tim is still here. Tim is T speaks. Um, yeah. Prayer, prayer scope, prayer scope mail at gmail.com. That's where it is. Prayer scope mail at gmail.com prayer scope mail at gmail.com um tim is i don't know if he's still here but tim is t speaks right he does um a motivational he he's a he's a motivational speaker he is a master encourager um and i really believe the lord has called him to um um to really encourage the hearts of people and so he's tim underscore is underscore t speaks and so that's his email address my brother raheem um, uh, Alan, he is, uh, the letter F S the number two T S. Could you all add sister Zachary? She is carrying her for, okay. Sister Zachary, sister Zachary, the mom is ill and I'm just writing these down. I, I think I'm going to get a prayer wall myself. I think I'm going to get a prayer wall myself. Um, cause I, cause I want to, um, and, 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 and I'm not, and, and I'm not going to be doing any prayer scopes. Um, because I, again, I believe, um, Hey, hello, going to the top. How are you? Um, I believe that's not my area that the Lord has called me to do. And so I don't, I don't, I, I believe we need to work like a body. Uh, you will never, one thing that, one thing that's very truthful about the body. Yeah, absolutely. Lighthouse FWC at optonline.net. Let everybody get that down to, to get your prayers. And listen, I encourage you to, 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 to email both of them or all of us, um, email both of them. Um, but I, as I was saying, you won't see me do any prayer scopes, but I'm going to write down just in case Daryl or Pastor McNulty missed anything. I'm going to write it down and I'm going to um, see if they if they if they got everything, if they got everything. I'll just keep it in my pad um, um, just in case. Could you put that back up? Because Silent Motors has a support group for caregivers. So just be be a little more clear, though. Put what put put uh, what thing back up. Sister Zachary. Um, and so. Um, uh, one thing with the body, one thing with the body, right? One thing with the body is this: you will never see um, a hand do what a leg does. And so I believe they they have they have uh, Sister Sacre S A K R E E. Uh, her mom is ill. She's caring for her mother. Sister Sacre is caring for her mother. Um, yes, yeah, Sister Sacre. Uh, it's S uh, S A K R E E. Um, and so. Um, and this is the body at work, guys. You, Pastor McNulty, um, um, Dope, and and we're all connecting. We're all connecting. This is the body. This is how the body should work. You will never see an arm do what a leg does, right? Consistently, you can see uh, somebody do handstands, but you won't see it consistently. You'll never see a foot do what an ear does. And so we all got to maintain our lane and stay in our place. Um, and and so Tim, as I was saying, is an encourager, and I want everybody to follow him. Um, Raheem, my brother Raheem Allen. From the streets to the sanctuary, he's doing it. He's about to do a, a, a launch, a relaunch of his book, From the Streets to the Sanctuary. I want everybody to go out there and get it. His his uh, scope is FS2, the number two, FS2TS, FS2TS. Hey, bless you, Dame, man. Um, bless you, Dame. I'm going to give you a call, too, when I leave here, Dame. Um, I'm, I'm going to give you a call. Pray for my sister, Yvette Lilly. She suffers with autoimmune disease. Hey, okay. Um, Risha, sister, Lily, um, we got, we got to go get some sushi, um, Odell, best friend, Larry, Larry, um, 
Breeze, his mother. Okay. Larry, um, grieving mother. <laughs> you don't like sushi, thing? Man, we need to get together, bro. Um, I am going to call you when we get there. Okay. And so, okay, Larry grieving his mother in peace with sisters. Peace between the sisters. Okay? And listen, so so you follow Raheem. Everybody, I want you to follow Raheem. And then I want you, there you go. Um, and then I want you to follow my sister, Pastor Danielle. Now, Danielle, she doesn't have a specific time, but one thing I do know, she, she scopes Sunday evenings. She scopes Sunday evenings, right? And I want her to get a title for her scope. Normally, normally it's what a day. And she she shares some really, really great stuff. And so that's my sister, Pastor Danielle. We were in youth ministry together. And Danielle knows uh, when we were when we were on fire for Jesus when we were teenagers. I'm going to tell this quick story. Um, <laughs> Danielle had missed church for like two weeks straight. Danielle had missed church. Pastor Danielle, yes, Pastor Danielle had missed church for two weeks straight. And so, listen, we were on fire for Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You know, you young, you saved, and you love the Lord. We rolled up to that Perth Amboy High School, and we found Danielle. This is during school. We found Danielle, and we cornered her. We encircled her, talking about where you been. And we had prayer right there in that school. And Danielle's a pastor today because of it. No. <laughs> she's she's a pastor because she's called to be a pastor. She's called to the ministry. That's why she's... um. Um, and she and there's and there's a word in her mouth. The word of the Lord is in her mouth. Listen, I want you guys to follow Bishop Hilliard as well. Um, I know he does start Wednesday. I think he's going to start one um, doing. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, <laughs> hey. That's um, um, Braxton, my sister Braxton, who works across the street from me. Um, um, Bishop Hilliard, he's starting Wednesday night, ten fifteen tomorrow night. He's starting a scope um, uh, at ten fifteen p.m. If anybody's up. He's starting one 10, 15 p.m. He does one uh, Mondays, I think, Mondays and Tuesdays. That's what you write, and that's what we did. Um, she was back in church that Sunday, too. You know Maria Rivera Jones? Wow. <laughs> he said, we all got stories about high school, Seth. Amen. We, we ain't going to talk about those stories. <laughs> we got some crazy stories. Amen. Praise God, and amen, and amen. Listen, it was a joy being with you guys. It was a joy being with you guys. Um, um, it was an awesome time. I thank you guys for listening. And again, I just wanted to encourage you guys because you guys held my arms up, um, and you and you lifted me up, and you kept me lifted in prayer. And so I'm I'm so excited that you guys came. Um, hey, what's up, sir? What's up? Why do I feel like I owe you information? Do I owe you some information, Pastor? Please let me know. I feel like I owe you information. Hey Dana, Dana, I think I think I might be with you guys in service this weekend, Dana. I'm not sure. Um, um, I'm not sure yet, um, but but I but I think I will. But thank you. I do. I owe you information. Can you please tell me so I can write it down? What um what I owe you? <laughs> what I I know I owe you. I know I owe you. I owe you something. Um, if you can, if you don't mind typing that in, or text me, or text me. If you have my number, you can text me. Um, and just tell me what it is I owe you because I want to get you that information. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I encouraged you. I'm glad I encouraged you again. If if you guys still want to put, uh, um, <laughs> he said I owe you. <laughs> Look, Pastor, Pastor, you see that Lloyd said a hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, yeah, text me. Text me. <laughs> he said a hundred a hundred dollars. Listen, listen. I, I'm sorry. I, I I feel a little carnal at the moment. Has anybody had Talenti yet? Has anybody had that ice cream? Oh my Jesus, the Lord created Talenti. But at any rate, um, <laughs> he said he receives it. Um, listen, guys, um, I thank I thank you guys for coming um, um, to Scope tonight. Um, yeah, yeah, that Talenti. That's that's how you know. I saw that picture and the anointing has lifted. Everyone, the anointing has lifted. It's gone because now I want Talenti. Um, um, I thank you guys for coming. I thank you guys for coming tonight. It was a joy being with you guys, and people came for the worship conversations. And um, and I thank you guys. I thank you guys. Listen, tomorrow, tomorrow is Wednesday. Listen, tomorrow, um, uh, where can we go to order your music? Uh, hey, hey, every, you can go to uh, you can go to iTunes. You can go to iTunes, um, and you can get totally yours. It's on iTunes, right? It's on iTunes. 
I have a red sweater on. So I have a red sweater on in the picture. Um, but I but but the upper room is there and uh, the whole CD, the upper room, which is a studio CD. And oh, thank you, Felicia. Bless you. And then the letter, which is also a studio CD, um, is also on iTunes. But the live single, you know, we're making some we're making some progress on getting the Just Worship Live, Just Worship Live, that CD, which will be out next year. We're making some progress and we're going to get that done. Um, and, and I, and I, you know, and I'm believing the Lord that, that it's going to be done. And, and, but, but the reason why it's not out yet is because I want it done right. I want it done the right way. I want to represent the kingdom the appropriate way. And so that's going to be live. And that, that's, that's the one I'm really going to, I'm really going to, and I love my other projects, but their studio. And if anybody who knows me, I don't like the studio, do not like the studio, but, um, that we're, Hey, everybody kingdom crunk, right? Um, kingdom crunk. She has a radio station. Let's put that on our list, too. She has a radio station that she's about to start, right? Uh, a radio station. Um, I think, I, I'm not, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's internet-based. Um, 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 and so we want to pray for the success of that. Um, we want to pray for Melanie, who's in Sri Lanka, right? It's internet-based. So Melanie is in Sri Lanka. She needed a financial breakthrough and pray for her family. You guys continue to pray for my family. I thank you guys. Um, we gonna we gonna we gonna I'm gonna put Lloyd out there again. We gonna put, we gonna get we one day I'm gonna find myself in Jackson and we're gonna scope from Lloyd's house um, because it's necessary. Lloyd's gonna start uh, audio conversation, <laughs> audio technology conversations with Lloyd Vaughn, um, <laughs> and so um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a scope with him soon because he has a wealth of knowledge um, to give. But again, I thank you guys, man. I, I thank you guys. I could sit on here and talk to you guys. All day. He said, nope. <laughs> uh, um, I can sit here and talk to you guys all night, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, we got you covered in prayer. We got you covered in prayer. And so, listen, you guys have a wonderful night. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home and uh, give me something to eat. You know, I'm going to go home and get something to eat. I got to call my dad. My dad's at the house um, getting payback on me because he left my living room light on and the TV on all night. I, 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 ooh, Lord knows. I feel like he's just paying me back just for the many years that I left the lights on at home. Um, and so, but, uh, my dad's up and he's hanging out at the house. And so we're having a good time having him around. Um, um, and, uh, so you guys, you guys, um, 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 I thank you guys for coming. We'll be back, Lord willing, next week, 5.30 p.m. for more worship conversations. Um, so <laughs> that's what we do. And um, and so um, you guys know how I end my scopes. You guys know how I end my scopes. Love you guys. Um, but I end my scopes by saying we, the people of God, we exist to be used by God. So God's glory is revealed here on earth as it is in heaven. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. See you guys tomorrow morning. I'm scoping at around 8, 8.05. Um, I'll be scoping, um, um, Lord willing. Um, and if not, I'll see you guys on the prayer scope at 12 o'clock tomorrow. All right? Love you guys. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you, Jan. Bless you. Bless you. Um, you guys have a wonderful night. Love you. Love you, too. Love you, too. And I'll, and I'll see you guys. All right? Bye-bye.